In this video I am going to show you how to fix the null or no data value breaks of align chart and styling of charts in Google Earth Engine. Null breaks occur in time series analysis of image collection. When the values are missing or not present, please remember that zero is not considered as null. Before we begin make sure to subscribe to my channel for short, beginners oriented and easy to understand Google Earth Engine videos and press the bell icon so that you are notified when I upload a new video. First of all I will create my study area polygon and filter modest land surface temperature image collection. If you don't know how to filter datasets in Google Earth Engine please watch my video on that link to that in video card above. I will filter it for the first four months of year 2020 and from the bands I will only select the LST band as we don't want any other bands. This band's unit is Kelvin and also the scaling factor is provided. I will also not talk about conversion from one unit to other and scaling of datasets in Google Earth Engine. Please watch my video tutorial on that link in video description. Next I will go to the docs section and from the charts I will select the image collection chart which is ui.chart.image.series, this chart requires an image collection. If you have confusion about various charts in Google Earth Engine please watch my charts in Google Earth Engine playlist. I will add a link to that in video description. I will create a new variable chart and paste the method that I copied from docs. I will make a dictionary from the arguments of this chart. In the image collection I will provide the LST collection that we filtered, in the region argument I will provide my study area polygon, in the reducer I will give the max reducer. This reducer will get the maximum temperature from each image in the collection and plot it. Watch my video on reducers for more concept. The scale is going to be 1000 meters or 1 kilometer which is the spatial resolution of MODIS LST dataset. I will remove the X property argument as it is optional. Watch my video on compulsory and optional arguments of a method of function in Google Earth Engine for more concept. When I print this chart and run this code it returns a chart on console that has no breaks. Now here is the concept, I will add chart options method and inside it, if I set interpolate nulls to false, the chart will show breaks. If you data has breaks set the interpolate nulls to true. And Google Earth Engine will interpolate the nulls and remove breaks. Let's talk about chart styling. I will only demonstrate basics of styling of line chart that includes adding axis labels, changing line color and adding trend lines to time series chart as demonstrated in previous example. But there is a plethora of available charts in Google Earth Engine. I will provide a link in description where styling of different charts that have their own requirements are explained by the Google Earth Engine developers forum. To set axis labels we have two types of axis, vertical axis which is the Y axis and horizontal axis which is the X axis. I will call both axis and set the titles. To change the color of a line I will call the series. Series basically has data of various indexes. Indexes mean that here we only have one line, but if we wanted to see trend of another band in the same chart for example NDVI and LST then that will have index of 1. Remember in Google Earth Engine indexes of arrays start from location 0. Since there is no other index, I will call the index 0 and change its color. For other indexes just call the index and set color etc. Let's add trend line. Trend lines also follow the concept of indexes. I will call index 0 and first set trend line color. I will tell the method to display information of trend line in the legend of chart, I set that to true. Next I will set the trend line width to a bold font. To check the correlation of two axes I will set show R square to true. And finally I will set the trend line type as linear. The R square and an trend line type is help in linear regression and I will teach you that in detail in some other video. When I run this code nothing shows so I will set the opacity of trend line to 1. It again shows nothing, maybe we have called trend line incorrectly, I will fix that, and now we have the results. Please make sure to check the properties of your type of chart in the Google Earth Engine Developers Forum, link to that in video description. If you have learned something new please like this video. For any queries write in comments, or send me an email, code link available in video description. I will see you in the next one. Peace.